So this was prophecy number two that I received after the original fire of Arizona prophecy. The fire coming to the desert and it was gonna start with Arizona. It was gonna come out of Arizona. So this was prophecy number two. The Lord gave me a vision of fire bombs hitting the desert and bursting into plumes, a fire coming up from the ground. The Lord said, explosions of glory. As the fire rain has come to the desert to burn out the dead things, this will make room for the glory explosions to come and make impact like an atomic bomb going off. As my rain makes room, rain, the rain of fire, of fire had made, makes room with fre a fresh foundation, the explosions of glory will hit all the desert states. No one will be left out, and it starts with Arizona. And it will move out. You will see explosions of glory. They will hit Utah. For real. This is what he's saying, guys. It will hit Utah like never before. Who knows they need it? Big time. Like, bigger than every other nation on the earth. Okay. Um, they will hit Utah like never before. Revival will come and hit Utah like never before. These glory explosions will move to Mexico and New Mexico, Nevada, and sparks will fly in Colorado. And then on to Pakistan and Afghanistan. They will be hit with glory explosions. These revivals will make headline news, and many will leave Middle Eastern countries and flock to Pakistan and Afghanistan. My glory explosions are preparing to break out. As room is made and the dead things are moved out of these places, there is a faithful remnant, this is for all of you guys, but Pakistan and Afghanistan. Their faithfulness has not gone unnoticed. Their pain and suffering has not gone unnoticed. Revival is right in all of these regions, but the dead things must be burned out first. Get ready, my people, in these desert places. The fire is coming, and the glory explosions are about to hit. Amen. And so, this word was for way more than Arizona. But that's what he gave me. And I need to tell you this, and this is what, these are all the things that should be blowing your mind tonight. Utah. Mexico. New Mexico. Nevada. Pakistan and Afghanistan. Let this blow your mind. Let this revelation just wreck you. Before you get ready to come up here and receive. It starts here. If you don't do it, Arizona, it won't go to Utah. And it won't go to Mexico. And it won't go to New Mexico. And it won't make its way to Nevada, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. It starts here. You guys are the fire starters. Come on. You guys, soak it in. Soak it in. You'll be able to look back and go, whoa. Oh, man. Everything that's happening in Pakistan. It started here in Arizona. Amen. Arizona are the ones that got it all going and set it ablaze. If you don't do it, then all the other mandates are affected. You understand? It starts here. The value of your fire is so valuable to God, he wants to he wants to use you in such a mighty way. It's so, you're so valuable to him. He's allowing you to be the beginning. Your fire to spread to all those places. You guys, this should make you like sink so far deep on your faces to go low in consecration. What a mighty mandate. What a mighty call. It's not just for what your fire can do for the territory of Arizona. 
but it's gonna go to Utah, Mexico, New Mexico, Nevada, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Amen. And when you're hearing on the news about all the revival happening in Afghanistan and Pakistan, you're gonna know the spark started here. So here's the thing. God needs you to take seriously your mandate, Arizona, to be the fire. He needs you to take it seriously. He needs you to know the yuck, the dead, the fear, the Jezebel attacking you, the anxiety, everything has got to go. You've got to know who you are in him and you've got to stand on it and be unshakable. You guys, it doesn't mean jump's not going to happen. It doesn't mean jump's not going to come. But you can choose to stay ablaze amidst the jump. And like I said Friday night, I love using Apostle Paul. It did not matter how much hell came against him. He never lost his fire. He never quit. He never gave up. He kept going. He got beaten, whipped, thrown in jail, you name it. It was done to him. And he kept going. You guys, he kept going. Many of you want to say, yeah, but this has happened to me, that's happened to me, and it's really hard, and, you know, things are really rough right now. Yes, they are. Yes, they can be. But has anybody walked up to you? I know you're going to be like, this is so mean, Liberty. Okay. Are any of you cold? If somebody wants to hit the heat there, just put it up a notch. Um... Have any of you ever had anybody come up to you, tell you to strip down, tie you to a post, and give you 39 lashes on your back by a whip? Has that ever happened to you? You ain't got no excuses. I said I'll fuck you mean. Has anyone stoned you to death outside the city to where a group of, you know, 11 or 12 people had to lay hands on you and bring you back to life? So you could go to the next city and get whipped again for fun and you were happy to do it. Has that happened to any of you? Becoming unshakable is not hard. Easy? No. But it's doable. <laughs> to stay on fire and not quit, you have to become unshakable. Amen. You guys, you have to become unshakable. Now here's the thing. God is not saying he doesn't know stuff happens. We lose loved ones. People we never thought walk away from the Lord. Like these horrible things that break our hearts happen. It's ugly. It's an ugly world, you guys. And it can be. He knows that. It's the devil's playground. But you have to understand, he's coming back for an unshakable remnant. He still expected the apostles to go be apostles. He didn't give room for them to quit. There was no quitting. He never said none of this would be easy, y'all. But you can be unshakable, just like Apostle Paul. It actually is doable. And I know people want to be like, yeah, but he was like a super apostle. He was like the most super, super in the world. He was like beyond powerful. Like, there's no, there's, there's not been any other greater apostle. Like, you had, I don't got that kind of power. I don't. I don't got that going for me. Really? Same empty tomb. Same tomb, y'all. Same power. He didn't have a different Jesus die for him. The same power that lives in him 
lives in you. Will you live it? Will you tap into it? Yes. Amen. Amen. So here's the thing. Now I'm going to give you your one minute pep talk. Okay, maybe five. Okay, I used to be a lead pastor. I could be lying, lying, lying. I could close like five times. But really, just no closing because we're going to do an impartation of fire. So here's my prep for you. Come up here ready to receive. We're going to, as we get set up and get ready, we're going to turn up Shekinah glory. Oh, we're going to welcome. We wait for you, Jesus. We welcome you, Shekinah glory. Amen. That's where the fire's at, y'all.